E. coli O157. The CDC actively tracks outbreaks of this pathogen, which hospitalizes approximately 2,000 Americans every year. Karen Neal is an epidemic intelligence officer who works in the outbreak response and prevention branch of the CDC. Escherichia coli, better known as E. coli, are a group of bacteria. And most strains are actually harmless and live in the intestines and can be beneficial to health. Some strains, though, particularly E. coli O157, can cause illness. Because this disease initially presents like any other stomach ache, an E. coli O157 victim could already be in a life or death situation by the time they are properly diagnosed. Rob Tokes has been investigating outbreaks in the CDC for over 25 years. The first thing that it does is it starts killing the intestinal cells, and then it gets in the bloodstream. It's like running the blood cells through a Cuisinart or something. They get, they get sliced into little bits, and in a few people, it targets the brain. E. coli O157 was originally identified by scientists at the Centers for Disease Control in 1982, when an outbreak sickened 47 people. Eventually, investigators isolated the source of the outbreak as fast food hamburgers that had been contaminated with infected fecal matter. In the decades since it was discovered, E. coli O157 has revealed itself as a serial killer. Not all E. coli O157 are just the same. There are different strains that can be more severe. It kills an average of 61 people in the United States each year and can also cause paralysis, blindness, and strokes. And it keeps getting more creative in the ways it finds victims. A two-year-old child died today in Seattle, and the killer tainted meat from jack-in-the-box hamburgers. E. coli outbreaks spreading across the country. Grocery stores have been clearing their shelves of bagged fresh spinach. The outbreak has spread to at least 19 states as being blamed for one death and has sickened at least 109 people. E. coli contamination isn't limited to food. E. coli 0157 has made its way into drinking water, lakes, and swimming pools. And while this ravaging bacteria continues to rack up even higher body counts, doctors and scientists have been unable to find a cure. 